Mawlana Maududi rahimahullahi ta'ala said in his Tafhim al-Qur'an in the Tafsir of Surah Al-Nur that when we, whenever Muslim community is discussing about gender interaction, intermixing hijab principles, then they should not isolate these principles as an isolated fiqhi principles. Rather, they should see things from an individual, communal, and even political standpoint. And what does he mean by that? He actually gave a very beautiful example in the Tafsir of Surah Al-Nur. He says, one of the objectives of Islamic law, which all these scholars agree, is to protect an individual from zina. Some scholars say this is one-fifth of the Sharia. This is 20% of the Sharia. And then Sharia took some practical steps so that it can prevent individual from zina. First, it gave a society few guidelines for man-woman interaction, gender interaction, where zina is difficult. Second, it made nikah very easy that if you have any desires, it should come out from a halal perspective. So that's why the relationship between the man and woman have to be taken and out from a nikah perspective, not from the zina perspective. Third, then in order to make your marriage life happy and healthy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a lot of instructions regarding that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made divorce very easy. If something is not working out, and you want to come out of that relationship, indeed divorce is very easy in Islam if there is a legitimate reason for that. And then getting remarried for a divorce is also very easy. And even after that, if you end up doing zina, then there is a capital punishment from the political angle. So from the individual angle, then the communal social angle, and then the political criminal law angle, Islam provided a guideline, a structure, a framework to protect an individual from zina and build a healthy society. Now, how in the world this is justice with Islamic teachings, especially regarding morality teachings, whether it's intermixing, interaction, hijab, if you isolate these teachings and you try to understand in a society which values nudity, how can it value modesty? then hijab and intermixing and interaction because of this isolation, because of your individual lens, will going to become a outdated principle because you're looking at those guidelines as an individual thing, not as a collective thing. And the problem with this Western lens, that individualization and privatization of religion have made even Islam to come into that lens that Islam should not come out of the four walls of church and the mosque and Islam should only be confined to the individualism. And that's the problem. That's, that's, that will make Islam look incoherent. Islam will always look outdated from this postmodern Western lens. So in order to go back to Islamic teachings, we should never teach gender interaction or intermixing or hijab as an isolation, isolated concepts of Islam, which deals with only individualism. Rather, we should teach this as a coherent Islamic concept which promotes Islamic modesty. Otherwise, you will see this, that Muslim sister is wearing hijab, but because of the lack of this coherence uh, concept of Islam, she will think I'm wearing this hijab because it's my choice. No, it's not your choice. We are wearing hijab and we are wearing this dress of modesty because we have submitted and surrendered our choices to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we don't have any choice. This message is ex extremely important. And I think when we read Maulana Maududi or other great scholars, subhanAllah, of our history, we should try to take these lessons and apply this in our postmodern times, especially in which we are living, to make um, it relevant on our times, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.